Yo, what's up, guys? What's going on? Man, has it been lonely on YouTube or what? You guys been missing me? I'm finally back. Uh, I got my power back yesterday, and it literally just felt like Christmas. Uh, he just came in my room. He said, sir. I said, yes. He said, you can go outside, walk down those stairs, and you can turn that generator off. I was like, why? Why should I even do that? You see, I'm kind of doing something. I'm charging my phone, uh, you know, and shit like that. Like, sir, we're going to put your lights on. What? I jumped up, high five them. They had to jump down. But uh, I jumped up, I high five them. I was like, yes, let's do this. And I, I ran outside and walked. I didn't flip walking. Uh, and I turned the generator off. And a few minutes later, the lights came on. And honestly, it, it felt so good to see those lights on the ceiling turn on and I don't have to linger around in the dark or take a shit in the bathroom and miss. I don't wanna I don't have to go through all that. You know, and I've been going through it yesterday effectively made uh um what is it? Uh two months effectively because the power turned off October 29th. This is December 29th and I got my power back. Uh so it felt it felt really good. I felt extremely happy. And it's absolutely amazing, you know. They took about They've been there for four, five, six days, seven. About seven days they've been here. They've been working on it. All the wires needed to be replaced in the basement. Um, the sheetrock that was above the basement, uh, everything was fell. We had to get all that out. You know, me and my uh, father, my brother, we all did it. And we, we shoved all that shit out. It was freaking hard work. Um, a lot of work, a lot of that shit had to go out. Maybe we had like about 20 bags in front of the street. And this truck had to come and pick everything up. Uh, so yeah, they were here. And they, they fixed it up and it took seven days. Uh, but uh, it was a lot of work and it was kind of kind of underestimated. You know, I thought maybe all we needed was uh, a panel, a circuit panel, just to get the power back. And that wasn't the case. We had to come, cut all the walls. It came, the, the demolition team came to cut the walls two feet up. And the reason why I cut it two feet up is the water came in and it was about one feet on the first floor. Okay, I don't live like on the ground. I just walk into the uh, my apartment, into it's not an apartment, it's a house. You, you walk into my house. You just don't walk straight in from the street level. You don't walk right to my house. So it's not street level. You have to walk up about five stairs, five steps, and then from there you're in my house, right? So the water came up into the first floor about one feet up. So you have to cut two feet. That's to remove all the exposed wires and everything. And um, it wasn't a lot of wires that was exposed. It was just a few. A uh, few in my room, a few in my, one of my sister's room, and a few outside. You know, one or two were there or whatever. And that was it. And then they had to do a little bit of re re rewiring a little bit. Uh, uh, but through it all, we got a little bit of upgrade. Uh, we upgraded to today's standard. So I feel pretty good with that, you know. Um, I don't know why, I just feel good. At least the house is not going to burn down. Because if I, if we had uh, got the electrician to come out and actually do that, I don't know if he would have uh, changed all the wirings and basement and all that stuff and on the first floor. He, I don't think he would have done that. You know, he didn't seem. I, I called the guy. Like we, we are, we're looking for people to see if they can come and do this thing. You know, it, it would have cost money, pretty penny, um, and. We were looking for them, and, and, and you know, this guy, one guy came out because he was already here. He came out to look at it, and he was looking at it. He's like, Yeah, it's gonna be like a thousand bucks, 1500. Uh, you know, he's like, You know, you gotta fix the one outside. There's the, the meter reader outside. I say, You gotta get those uh, fixed, too. That's like uh, another thousand dollars. I'm like, Okay, this is, that doesn't make any sense because we shouldn't own that, like the meters themselves. And, or whatnot, then that panel shouldn't be that much. And I can't understand the circuit breakers, the switches, and all this, the, that that could be worth like a lot of money. But the time it comes to the panel, it could be like maybe even for 50 to 100 bucks. So I didn't know. I think he was a bogus ass piece of shit. So, like, you know what? I'm not He's like, call me, you know, call, yeah, call me. I didn't, I, I, something about this guy just made me feel like I should not trust him. So I left it alone. I didn't call him. Give me this car. I acted fake. I was fake in front of his face. <laughs> yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, I'm give you a call. Uh, yeah, I, I, yeah, yeah, you have a great day, yes, and, um, I'm not gonna call him back, I'm not gonna call him or email him or anything like that, uh, whatever, I just, I dropped it, and then we found out that how there was this team that the city had set up to come out and repair houses, 
you know, uh, and uh, it's free. And that was a good thing. So we decided to go that route. Uh, and they came and they're like, you know, all this needs to be done. We need to move all the wires because saltwater wires, they don't talk to each other. They don't like each other. That's a bad thing. Uh, and your house can catch on fire. Maybe not now, but eventually, you know, because the salt water rots it and it melts it or acid, firms, firms acid and all that kind of stuff is really bad. So it's a good thing we actually waited, painting the ass the way. Trust me, that first month is horrible. If you go without power for the first month, it is the worst thing you'll ever face in your life, unfortunately. Uh, and so, yeah. So one with without power was really bad. Uh, after that one month, it wasn't that bad. You know, it got annoying, but it wasn't as annoying as the first month. Jesus Christ! It was pitch black in the street, and, and man, it was just, it was horrible. You know, nothing to do. No, no, uh, nothing to charge your phone. No entertainment whatsoever. Um, you know, we had to charge our phones in the generator. Uh, they put, like, they came in to put generators in the street and all that stuff. And we were charging the phone there. So I'm not gonna get too much into that. Uh, I'm just going to uh, stop right there with that, and um, I'm gonna say I'm, I'm, I'm actually gonna make a video. I got, I got a little bit of footage uh, with the sandy stuff. I'm gonna put that together and probably upload it here or onto my vlog channel. I'm not sure I'm gonna put it. So um, yeah, so that pretty much says it for that. Uh, this gameplay here, um, I, I don't know about the theater mode. This is good. This is this this is the first ever Black Ops video putting up. I don't know about the theater mode. It doesn't capture the end game. Um, like when you win, you get the last shots. It doesn't show that shit. Like, why would you? I I don't, I don't remember if Call of Duty uh, Modern Warfare Three did it. I never really recorded games that way. I decided to just try out theater mode a little bit. So it will work with me. Uh, but it captured it just fine. Obviously, I get more frame rates if I record it from theater mode, right? Uh, but it's just that man. It, it, it just it doesn't allow me like when I get that uh, both times in this game uh, I got uh, the end kill I got the um, the final kills in both uh, rounds it didn't even show it like how you how you get me mad like that you get me got, that got me pretty pissed I got like dude I wanted to see my kills I wanted to show you guys I got the ass to bastards but then you probably figured out on your own so other than that the game is fine uh, the, the update I got for the game, the first update that came out, I don't remember when it came out, maybe a week ago or so it came out, I think it made the game worse, like the hit mark is just much worse. Uh, it was fine, I think it was fine or decent, I think it was decent before, but now it got worse. And I think they, they, they put out another update, I don't know what it did, I have no idea, I don't know, I don't remember, I wasn't, I wasn't paying attention to it, I was, I was just focusing, uh, moving my stuff around in the room. So these people can come in and cut all the walls and move all the wires. So I can get my damn shit back up really quick. I wasn't paying attention to what was going on. Uh, now I got my power back. I'll be able to make uh, Call of Duty videos and just gameplay videos in general. Let's just Call of Duty. I feel like too much Call of Duty is a bad thing. Uh, so just uh, you know making the last games in general and uh, maybe a few games a week or maybe even more. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys have a had a great Christmas. Happy holidays. Fun stuff. Alright, peace.